Because you're doing those. Yeah. No, but I gave him my card. That's fine. No, no, no. You should write your case number. Yeah. Just want to hand it. Are you done? That's fine. I just have one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let me know. Really young kid. She just turned one. No, she did not. Yeah. Last week. Wasn't she just here like pregnant? I know. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, last time here, I don't think you had even given birth. I'm Jesus. We're on the record. In case number 2023 CRA 00727, State of Ohio versus Jason A. Slepsky for violations of 2903.06, aggravated vehicular homicide, a felony of the second degree, punishable by a mandatory prison term of two, three, four, five, six, seven, or eight years, and a class one driver's license suspension, which is a lifetime suspension, and two counts of 2903.08 aggravated vehicular assault. The rule four is charged as an F4, but I believe we'll have a correction by Prosecutor Flays here today to an F3. Um, is before I give the potential sentence, is that what you're um, motion, making a motion to amend, Prosecutor Flay? Well, Your Honor, I, I don't know that I need a motion to amend. Um, the, the body of the complaint makes the correct allegation and cites the correct code section. Um, it just, the, uh, the trooper inadvertently put felony in the fourth degree. Okay. It should be a felony in the third degree, and it's a high tier F3, and um, that is mandatory. That's correct. mandatory prison. Yes. It, additionally, Your Honor, with um, explaining the advisement to the d defendant, um, the aggravated vehicular homicide count, that's a mandatory two to eight years and then a potential indefinite term of one okay. half of whatever prison term was imposed. Correct. Thank you for cor the correction. So um, the potential prison terms are the, on the F3 would be 12 to 60 months and a class three driver's license suspension, which is two to 10 years. Also on the record in case number 2023 TRC 03669, State of Ohio versus Jason A. Slepsky for violations of 4511.19 A1A, a urine screen um, was obtained, results of which have not been the results of which have not been reported yet. Uh, if convicted, it would be a first offense in the last 10 years. Therefore, it carries a mandatory minimum three days in jail. It's equivalent to $375 mandatory minimum fine and a one to three year driver's license suspension. Also charged with 4511.43, failure to stop at a stop sign, a minor misdemeanor. President Court is, as you've heard already, County Prosecutor James Flays, as well as your attorney of record, Ms. Catherine Meehan. If at any time you cannot hear either one, please advise the court. Anything else for the record you wish to add, Mr. Flay? Uh, no, Your Honor. Okay. Ms. Meehan, you wish to enter a plea on behalf of your client as to the misdemeanors? Yes, Your Honor. At this time, we'll enter a not guilty plea. The court will accept the not guilty plea as bond will be set on the felony and misdemeanors you wish to hear as to bond. Uh, yes, thank you, Your Honor. I know that this is obviously a very serious case. Um, looking at my client's prior record, I will note that he does have one prior felony conviction. It was from 2008. It was a felony five theft charge. Um, he has not had any felony convictions since then. That's a 15 year window of time. Uh, he does have some misdemeanor convictions ranging from 2006 to 2014. I think his last case that I could find was a minor misdemeanor for paraphernalia in 2014. Uh, he is gainfully employed. He works locally here at Dale's Automotive as an auto mechanic. He's been in that industry for the past 20 years. He is married. His wife is present today in the courtroom. Together they have, uh, from separate relationships, two children, age 14 and 13. I would ask the court to take those factors into consideration. Again, I know that this is a serious case. 
uh, as I understand it, there is an outstanding chemical test here, but in speaking with uh, the prosecutor, I think he did submit to a portable breath test, which was under the limit, probably why they did the urinalysis as well. But I would just note that for the record as well. But asking the court to weigh the factors for bond, we would ask for a reasonable bond at 10% so that he can be in the community. There is a way for the community to be safe. This is an allegation of obviously operating under the influence. Um, eliminating his ability to drive will ensure that the community is safe um, and a monetary bond that can be posted at 10% I, will, I find will be enough to have him appear in court, which is another consideration that this court has to take into account. Uh, there's nothing to suggest that he won't appear in court. So we would ask the court to balance the factors and impose a bond, a reasonable bond at 10%. Thank you, Ms. Mann. You wish to be heard as to bond, prosecutor, please. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Um, there was a portable test uh, that was under, but the defendant also uh, admitted that he's prescribed Zoloft and admitted to uh, marijuana use, uh, prior marijuana use, uh, which is why the urine screen was taken. Um, the uh, passenger in the ambulance did uh, immediately, uh, was immediately uh, passed away. The other victims. Actually, the, oh, the patient. Not the patient, the, the, yeah. The, patient. Not the and then the other victims, uh, the driver uh, was transported to Geauga, but he was able to give an oral statement. The EMT that was in the back of the ambulance, um, I, I spoke to the state patrol this morning and the county coroner. Uh, and that situation is looking very dire, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. So based upon um, the factors and the facts of the case, the state would recommend a bond or request a bond of 300,000 cash for sure. Thank you. Thank you. The court's gonna set a 500,000 cash or surety bond. There will be conditions of bond as follows. Obey a local, state, and federal laws and ordinances and rules and regulations of this court not permanently leave the state of Ohio without court permission and always keep the court apprised of your current address, phone number, place of employment, and if you're temporarily going out of state, you will not consume alcohol or possess, use, purchase, have under your control any narcotic drug, mind altering substance or any other controlled substance, nor any instrument, device, or other object used for the preparation <coughs> or administration of drugs unless lawfully prescribed by a licensed physician. You will submit to random breath, urine, or blood tests for the presence of drugs and or alcohol, no bars, period. By noon tomorrow with either Ravenwood or Lake Geauga, both have agencies within the Geauga County Safety Center, you're going to uh, schedule an assessment for both substance abuse and mental health. After you schedule that appointment, Mr. Schlepsky, you're going to contact the pretrial release department. That number will also appear in your bond conditions you'll receive down to the jail and let them know if your appointment is October 10th, whatever it might be out in the future. You'll be sent down as well as your attorney getting copies of your bond conditions, your bond paperwork, and the new date for preliminary hearing and on the felony and pretrial on the misdemeanors, which what is your pleasure? Mr. Clay, Mr. You are, it's next Tuesday, 10 o'clock, okay? <clears throat> October 3rd, I believe, correct? Yes, yes Judge. The state's available. Monday, Wednesday, or Friday? It's got to be next week. Friday is the better day. The 6th? Is that a good day for you, Mr. Flays, or do you have grand jury? Yes. No, well, I don't believe we're going to have grand jury, so I could, I could do correct. So Friday, October 6th. What time? 10, 10 a.m. Anything else on behalf of the state, Mr. Flays? No, thank you, Your Honor. On behalf of you, Ms. Mayor. No, Your Honor, thank you. All right, you are on next. Thank Morris you. is all we have left, please. Thank you. Got it. Do you want to give them a chance to get the back up? Yes, sure, of course. It's going to be a couple minutes, yeah. Nice to see you. Thank you. Be thank well. You. Do you want some water for the road or something? Well, no, okay, now. All right, be well. Thank you. Mr.